Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this one we are gonna look at the volume fog v2 which are uh, almost the same as the before stuff but with uh, bigger enhancements. Um, first thing is I created a new shader for a cube volume. As you can see here this is just a normal cube with the volume from texture cube material on it and it will create fog within this cube. Obviously, if you go inside, it will disappear. So keep that in mind. Um, it will adjust automatically. And you have the same good stuff here. Um, I added also this 2D noise, which is uh, also another texture that is used for basically if you do this then you might uh, let's turn this off you might see some repetition in the pattern of the the fog and so this guy would add some uh, some changes right based on whatever texture you put you can give it different power value also right and yeah you can use the other stuff as well and what else the other imp uh, important changes are in the scripts so let me show you this. The Noisemaker now uses a compute shader to uh, create the volume noise, which means that previously it used to take like six seconds to generate one uh, volume or 3D texture. Now it, it takes like a split of a second to create it, right? Um, and now it's, it's, it's simple and small. So all the noise creation is in the compute shader now, which has a function that creates the noise and a function that samples eight uh, different scales of the noise, which is used in the main, uh, which is, this is what the C sharp code calls. You can look into uh, compute shader tutorials in specific if you want. It's a, a very powerful tool that uh, basically enables you to use the GPU to do con to do computation much much faster than if you are on the C sharp side, which is the CPU, right? And I can show you this script, the the noise maker. You can put it at uh, on any game object on your scene. Uh, you can set the size and the height, which is the resolution. The size is the resolution for the width and uh, um, depth, right? And then the height is the resolution on the height. And you can set whatever noise size you want and a seed. So if you change the seed and right click on uh, the here, basically, you will see you have this generate noise, which is going to generate the noise. As you can see, it's really fast. And another one which will save the noise to this 3D texture, uh, 3D texture asset, right? So if you don't do that, if you don't, if you don't save the noise, um, it will not be saved here. Which means whenever you like save the scene, or let me show you, if you actually generate noise and then just save the scene, it will disappear because it's it was only in the RAM and um, we didn't save it here, right? But uh, we already saved a different one, so we can just assign it. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all. You will find this uh, in HIO. The link is going to be in the description of this video. And uh, if you are able to donate, that would be great. Otherwise, just enjoy this free asset. Thank you so much for watching, and catch you in the next one.